so today what we're going to do is start our basketball picture. So all you're going to need is a Sharpie or something to draw with and something to color with. So I have here some watercolor paints that I am going to use, but you can use whatever you would like. So the first thing to our drawing is going to be the hoop. So we're going to start with a oval. And it's not a very fat oval, but it is long. It takes up most of our picture. Okay, then we're going to do the rim of the hoop. So the rim is going to be thicker in some areas and thinner in others. So right here in the inside at the bottom, we're going to draw the first part. We're going to start at the edge, and as we come out, we get a little thicker, and we start getting thin again until we disappear into the line, just like that. Then at the top of the hoop, the same area where you disappeared before, I'm just going to make that line thicker, we're going to start up again. So starting at that same point that we stopped at, I'm going to go up above my line, get thicker, and then curve into the side, just like that. Now that we have that, we're going to draw part of the hoop that is holding the rim. So right here, we're going to draw a little line in the center. Then at the top of that, we're going to draw a line coming out kind of on a downward angle. Then it's going to come straight down. And then we're going to go on a slight angle up again and then stop. When we're here, we're going to draw a curved line this time. Going from that point, we're going to curve it down just like that. Then at this corner, we're going to do the same kind of curved line to the center here. And there you go, there's the um, part holding our rim. Now we're going to do the hoop. So the hoop is see-through but has a bunch of cords. So on the sides, the hoop is going to come from both sides of your oval. And it's going to come down kind of on a wave. And it's okay if they're not the same length. Then I'm going to wave it, just like that. Okay, it's going to, the ball is going to be coming through our hoop. So it's almost like it's being dunked. So now we need to draw in the actual cords. And they're kind of like diamond shapes or V shapes. So we're going to start up here at the top. And it's going to be a V. And some of them can be straight. Some of them can be waved because of how the ball is kind of dunking through. We're going to start with V's. Once we're there, we're going to do upside down V's. But we're stopping at that line because you're not going to see them go through your rim. Now that we're there, we're going to finish those diamond shapes. Just like this. And then we're going to continue. Down until they connect. We're going to do that again. And then they can connect just like that. So there we have our hoop. Now we need our basketball. So my basketball is going to be slightly coming off the paper, and that is okay. If yours fits on the paper, great. 
but you do want your basketball to be a little bit wider than the hoop and the net. So you want it to be no bigger than the top of this, but bigger than the net down here. So as you can see, my basketball is going to be coming off the bottom of the paper, and that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm darkening the line of my basketball, because on basketballs, they have the lines that are dark and black. So that's what I'm drawing in right now. Ooh. Went a little bit too far, but that's okay. I'm just going to make my basketball line a little wider then. There you go. Now that we have the basic shape, we're going to draw the center line of our basketball that is just slightly curved and goes down the middle. Okay, then at the top of the basketball, we have that U-like line that's going to come up like this. And again, I'm going to make it extra thick. To make it stand out and then we're going to see part of that at the bottom here now that we have those two we need the one that goes across our bowl so now we're going to go the other direction and then we're going to color that in with our black So now I am done with the drawing. Now I can color. Now I'm going to do a little bit realistic color, but also make this fun. So I'm going to use some paint. And the first color I am going to use is going to be orange. And that's going to be for the basketball. Now I'm trying to stay coloring or painting in one direction. Okay, if I'm painting, I'm making sure I'm using a good amount of water to really spread out that color. Okay, so now I have my orange and I'm going to do red for my hoop up here. So I'm going to try to stay as neatly in my line as I can. And I'm also going to do that little piece holding it. Now if you want to add more details to like the backboard over here, Feel free to do that. Add some backboard. You can add audience if you want to do some people's faces. Whatever you want to make this unique for you. Okay, now I'm going to add just a little bit of some green and blue to add a little color and a little shadow to my hoop. Again, just adding a little color to get some more design in here and to add shadow. I'm going to use some purple instead of blue, I think. Add a little color. And now, because this is artwork and you can be creative and do whatever you want with it, I'm going to do some splatters. So to do splatters, I'm going into my paint and then I'm dipping my brush in just a little bit of water. And then I'm holding over my project and tapping it with my finger. 
to add some splatters, but to also keep it kind of neat. Okay, and if you notice it's not splattering a lot, go back into your water and then continue to tap it. You also can cover it with your hand to protect it from splattering other places. Okay, now I have one color. I'm going to go in to my next color, which I think I'm going to use some yellow. Again, I'm going to kind of cover it so I'm not splattering it everywhere. Okay, especially if you're doing this inside at a dinner table or something like that. Because if you look at my hand, it might be hard to see, but I do have some splatter marks that are, see some yellow. So, Cover it up so you're not getting it everywhere. I'm just going to go into some of my other colors. And there you go. There I have my basketball artwork. And you can add any extra details that you wish. And there it is.